brothers, really, we ought to be very careful. When we accuse other Muslims wrongly, one is to backbite behind somebody's back about something that they are doing. Another is to wrongly accuse them. Backbiting is no ghibat. Well, ghibatu ashaddu mina zina. Ghibat is even worse than zina. And, and it's like eating from the corpse of, of one of, 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 of your brother. If a person dies, there's his corpse is there. Ayuhibbu ahadukum an yakula lahma akhihi maitan fakarihtumu. Just as you would not like to eat uh, pieces of meat or chunks uh, from his corpse, uh, similarly, don't talk about about any of your brothers behind their back. Issues even which may be right, but if he was present, uh, he would not like it. And then to talk about people uh, in a manner which is not true, then that is Bohtan. And Bohtan is even worse than Ghibat. Uh, Bohtan is even worse than Ghibat. Many people, Allahu Akbar, okay, they've got differences with Tabligi Jamaat. And some people might not like the way, for example, Tabligi Jamaat do da'wah. Uh, but many people, they go overboard so much. They say some things about Jamaat which are absolutely baseless. Uh, things like, our oh, Tabligis are grave worshippers. Uh, people, when they go to Nizamuddin in Dili, which is the markers of Tabligis, uh, you can't go to the markers without bowing your head in front of the grave of Maulana Ilyas and Maulana Yusuf, alayhima, which is absolutely untrue. I've been to Nizamuddin, and yes, the graves of Maulana Ilyas, the founder of Tablig, uh, Tablighi movement as we know it today, and then his son Maulana Yusuf, who became his successor as the leader of Tablighi Jamaat after the, the, the death of Maulana Ilyas. Yes, their graves are in the Marcus compound, but they are not in the masjid in the Marcus compound. As, as uh, when people go, into Nizamuddin Marquez, they, they walk through the main door, right in front of the door is a pond upon which, in which uh, the people make wudu and that pond has been there since the time of Maulana Ilyas The masjid is then after the pond and the graves of Maulana Ilyas and Maulana Yusuf are on the rear side, on the left hand side. The masjid is in front and the graves are on the left hand side and many people don't even know they are the graves of Maulana Iyas and Maulana Yusuf they are there in a small enclosure and people wrongly, wrongly accuse the Bligis of worshipping and bowing down in front of the graves of Maulana Iyas and Maulana Yusuf and when we look and just because the graves are in the compound not in the masjid masjid is, is, is way ahead towards the Qibla wall in the time of Maulana Iyas uh, and Maulana Yusuf and in fact uh, until the, the, the late 1980s uh, the, the, the actual masjid in the Tablighi Marcus in Dili was small masjid uh, about 12 foot by 12 feet or say slightly bigger 16 feet by 16 feet something like that and remained in that way uh, right from the early 1940s until the late 1980s. It is only recently that the masjid has been extended and it's been extended toward the Qibla side. And the, the graves of Maulana Yusuf and Maulana Iyas are on the rear side. And, and if, the, if, if because the graves of Maulana Yusuf and Maulana Iyas, simply because they are in the masjid, and if that renders the Bihis as grave worshippers, we really ought to fear Allah. But look at the grave of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The Prophet had made a special dua to Allah. And did Allah not accept the dua of his beloved Prophet? Of course he accepted the dua of his beloved Prophet. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam had prayed, Ya Allah, don't let my grave be a place of worship. And look where the grave of Rasulullah is now. In his time, when he when he passed away and he was buried, yes, he was buried in the hujra of Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha. And at that time, it wasn't a part of the masjid. But when the masjid eventually needed to be extended, then that hujra was incorporated into the masjid. And now, and now, millions of people, when they visit Medina and they visit the, the, the masjid of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Thousands of people, they pray in a manner, Qibla is in front, then there's a grave of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and then they pray behind there. 
So do we say that the people who visit uh, Masjid al Nabwi, uh, they are grave worshippers because the Prophet is buried there, the grave of the Prophet is in the Masjid, the grave of Hazrat Abu Bakr is in the Masjid, along with the grave of Hazrat Umar radiallahu ta'ala. No? So for the simply, for the grave to be in a Masjid, uh, if that was a bad thing, then Allah would not have allowed the grave of his beloved Prophet because of his dua to be in a masjid along with the grave of Hazrat Abu Bakr and the grave of Hazrat Umar radiallahu ta'ala and in Palestine uh, there are many graves in Sham there are many graves uh, of Sahaba uh, in, the, in, the, in the masjid complex not part of the masjid people don't pray there uh, but they are on the sides but in the same compound similarly in Tablighi Markas in Nizamuddin in Delhi the grave of Maulana Ilyas and Maulana Yusuf are not in a position where anybody makes a sajda to them. Uh, they make sajda in the Qibla direction and the graves are on the rear left hand side. So may Allah guide us people who wrongly, this is Bhutan and it shows the ignorance of people. And it is stated in Hadith, Kafa bil mar'i kathiban an yuhaditha bi kulli ma samia. Uh, it is sufficient for a person to be a liar, to be a liar if a person just simply transmits and reports anything he hates. And uh, people who fear Allah, if they want to spread a rumor or spread something, uh, they should verify it. If anybody brings you any news, then investigate. Uh, don't just spread false rumors. Uh, many brothers, astaghfirullah, these tablighi brothers are doing very good work, alhamdulillah. Yes, they do go to Marcus because that is where the mashayikh are, the mashayikh who devoted their lives uh, for this noble effort. So people go to learn from them, but they don't go to worship them. And they certainly do not worship the grave of Maulana Ilyas or Maulana Yusuf, alhamdulillah, just as the people who go to Hajj and Umrah and then visit the mosque of the Prophet sallallahu in Medina, we don't say, the people go there and they worship Rasulullah and they worship Abu Bakr or they worship Hazrat Umar radiallahu ta'ala in spite of the fact that their graves are right in the middle of the masjid. May Allah guide us.